He's a little thicker than I thought I was gonna make him, but you know what, that's fine. Hi there, Michelle here, also known as Fancy Dinosaur Tea Party, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be attempting to crochet a frog. If you're new to my channel, you like sewing, crafting, but mainly thrifting, why not subscribe? I don't like frogs. I think the cartoon ones are cute, but real life frogs, I have a phobia. As a child, I would catch frogs and toads and all that jazz. Right around my teen years, National Geographic was on TV. This is where I got scarred for life. It was somewhere in Africa, nowhere near where I live, and there was a toad. It was, it was, about this big I don't even like I don't even like thinking about it and it was eating a rat I did not dream this I will not look it up to see if what I saw was in fact real I will not look that up and I can't look at frogs or toads especially toads the same way ever again but you know what it's almost my sister's birthday you know what she wants she wants a frog she doesn't want any frog she wants the frog I think that's how you pronounce it it's that meme where it's this little cake and there's a frog sitting on it and it says frog and my sister's like i want this gonna have to make her that frog yes i know i'm saying frog wrong but that is how it is spelled f-o-r-g frog anyways i ended up going to michael's and i was trying to find a thicker yarn because i wanted it to be like more of a plushy and they didn't have the color i wanted and i looked and all the michael's within a hundred mile radius of me were sold out so I went with a color that I think suits it best, even though it is a little more lightweight than I would like, I think I can get the job done. This is the yarn, as you can see, this is the bag, this is the bandana from that video that I did, and uh, they match. They used to be a shower curtain. This is the color that I ended up picking up, and it is for a baby blanket, but you know what? No, this is not gonna be a baby blanket, this is gonna be a frog. This was $11.99, which, I mean, that's pretty good for this big ball of yarn, considering that like a, like half of it, which is what I normally get for yarn, is like six bucks. If you been following me on this channel, you know that I can't pronounce words properly. So, Burnett. The weight is uh, super bulky. It it is a six and I'm gonna be using the crochet and it says an eight millimeter but a USB an L11 don't really know what that means if you're in the US you know what that means good for you in Canada it does want me to use an eight millimeter do I have an eight millimeter shoot skis go tomorrow and get an eight millimeter I think I have like up to like a six and then I have a ten I hope one ball will work if I need to I'll go back and get another one I don't want to make them any bigger than this so the frog in question I think I just need to make a little head a fat body and little arms and legs the eyes and the mouth I'm just going to use some black yarn which I have somewhere just like this simple black yarn that I have not like this stuff I think this project should go smoothly but you know me any project I think is gonna go smoothly ends up in a dumpster fire but you know what we're gonna get this frog frog whatever you want to call it done because my sister wants it for her birthday so I gotta make it. Okay, it's been a few days, mainly because I had to run out and grab a eight millimeter crochet hook because you know what? I did not have one. Also, eight millimeter crochet hooks are uh, near impossible to find. I went to Michael's and they said they had one because I like the aluminum one. I went and it was just emptied. Like you can buy kits that go from like, like three to 6.5 and then it just jumps to 10. There's no like seven, eight or nine. This ball, which I rolled up conveniently, needed eight and and I bought it, but I wanted just the plain aluminum one. They only, oh dear lord, they only had the one with like the, the chunky, the chunky grip on it. I did not like it, so I uh, pried this little part off. Get right into making this. Now, I'm not gonna talk while I'm making this. I'm gonna watch a podcast. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing, and then I'm gonna do a voiceover. Now, if you really want to make this, there is a tutorial on how to make a bumblebee, and that's kind of what I used to make the frog because there wasn't like a frog tutorial, hence why I needed to make this frog tutorial. I will be linking the video that I watched below, and that just kind of really teaches you how to increase and decrease and how to make the body shape. The legs, the eyes, and the mouth, I just kind of figured it out on my own. To start off the body, I am making a magic loop and then chaining six single crochets into that loop. After the six single crochets, I am then going to chain two single crochets into each loop. In the end, I will end up with 12 stitches.
For the next eight rows, I will be making the rows bigger and bigger by increasing stitches. I'm just using this paper clip as a stitch marker so I know when the next row starts. For row three, I do one single crochet, and then in the next stitch, I do two single crochets in one stitch. This is increasing. To increase a stitch, it means you have to have two single crochets just in one stitch. Now with this stitch pattern, I will be doing this six times around before I start my next row, and I will be doing this for every single row. So no matter how many stitches per row, I will be doing the number of stitches, then my increase number of stitches increase six times before I start my next row. For row four, I'm doing two single crochets, then one increase. Row five, three single crochets, and then one increase. And that's basically what I'm doing for all the rows. Every row that I'm doing, I'm adding an extra stitch and then doing an increase. So row six, four single crochets, one increase. Row seven, five single crochets, and then one increase. By the time that I'm at row 10, I should have around 54 stitches if I did things right. I think I did, anywho, around 54 stitches. For the next three, four, five rows, I am just going to be doing a single crochet 54 times. Now it is time to decrease the amount of stitches. It's just the opposite of increasing. So basically to decrease, I'm putting my hook through the front of two stitches and doing one single crochet. Now before he is all closed up, I do have to fill him up with the pillow stuffing. So like I said, when I am decreasing, I'm basically doing the opposite of increasing. So I will do on like the longest row, I will do eight single crochets and then I'll do one decrease. And I will do that six times. In the next row I will do seven crochets, one decrease, then six crochets, one decrease. I'm basically doing that until I get back down to two single crochets and one decrease. Right before I close them up, I do add a little bit more stuffing just to round them out a bit. To close him up, I'm taking my crochet hook and looping through a bunch of stitches at once, and then I will do one single crochet pulling through all of the loops, and then I tie him up. I'm making the head the same way I made the body, just not as big. First, I'm gonna start off with the magic loop. For row one, I'm doing six single crochets. Row two, I'm doing two single crochets in each stitch. And now I'm going to start increasing the stitches. I'm only gonna do four to five rows of increases before I start to decrease. And just like the body, I'm adding stuffing to the head before I close them up. I'm taking the tail end of my yarn, threading it through my yarn needle and sewing him up. After the head is done, I am now going to crochet two black eyes and attach the mouth. For the eyes, I'm crocheting two small circles. To attach the eyes and the mouth, I will be using my yarn needle just to stitch them on. With my crochet hook, I'm pushing in all the loose pieces of yarn into the head so they're not seen. For the mouth, I am just using a single strand of yarn and with my yarn needle, just sewing it into the head. On to the legs. So I'm gonna be crocheting five chains and then attaching them to make a circle. Then I'm just going to single crochet around and around and around for like 20 or 30 rows and basically I'm making a very long tube. I am crocheting four of these tubes. Two will be for the legs and two will be for the arms. The arms I am gonna be making a little bit longer than the legs. Now that all the body parts are done, I can attach them together. And how I'm gonna attach them is I'm just gonna use my yarn needle and the same green yarn that I used to make it, and I'm just gonna stitch them on and hopefully they stay.
frog or the frog, frog, however you want to pronounce it. He's done. He's quite cute. He's got his little hunchback. He's a little thicker than I thought I was going to make him, but you know what? That's fine. He's got his cute little face. He's got his dangly little limbs. He's just going to sit. He's just going to sit just like that. I don't know. I thought it would be more difficult yet easier at the same time. Like the stuff that I thought this is going to be like a breeze. I know what I'm doing was like, oh wait, I don't know what I'm doing. And then the stuff that I'm like, oh, this, this is going to be a little complicated. Smooth. If you want to make your own frog, hopefully I kind of helped you. Again, my tutorial skills are uh, not always the best. I have good intentions of making a tutorial and then it just goes right out the window. I think he turned out quite well and I think my sister will also think he's quite cute. Hopefully I did my best. I've never made a stuffed animal regardless if it was crocheting or sewing or whatnot. I've never made one so for my first attempt at making this frog I think it went pretty all right. That will do it for this video so y'all have a good day now. Remember if you like a video give it a good old-fashioned like and if you're not subscribe, please subscribe. You can also follow my Instagram, which is Fancy Dinosaur Tea Party. 